Well, <laughs> good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to Thursday Talk here at New Life Christian Assembly. I'm Pastor Rick, and this is Ella Victory, and uh, we'll be with you <sighs> on this last Thursday of the year. Just trying to get ourselves situated here. Uh, are we? Are we in the so frame? I guess we are. Happy Christmas. I mean, Happy New Year's Eve. <laughs> happy New Year's Eve. Can you believe 2020 is just about history? And uh, after tonight... Even though Christmas has passed, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, we could still say Merry yeah, Christmas. Christmas. Uh, let's just take a minute and see who's on here today. Uh, James Carter. God bless you, James. Hello. Angela. Angela Soyes, good to see you. Uh, Tim Wheaton, good to see you, Brother Tim. Tony, God bless you, Tony. Hello. Pastor Bill is here, and he's over there, too. <laughs> See him over there? <laughs> Taryn Vest. Hey, Taryn, how are you? Happy New Year to you. Uh, Gigi's on. Mm -hmm. Gigi's Pamela. Uh, Dolores, our neighbor, is on. Praise the Lord. Uh, Eva Rogers. God bless you, Eva. And uh, Robert, uh, Rob LaFountain is on. Rob, always good to see you on here. Are you, uh, are you back in, uh, what do we say, Ohio? Illinois, <laughs> or, or Florida. I thought you were in Florida. Oh, your mommy's on. Stacy's on. Hello. Uh, Lynn Harrison. Hey, Hello. Lynn. God bless you. Uh, Roseanne is on. Hey, Hello. Roseanne. Gail Zanke. Hello. Gail, God bless you. I, I wonder if, if, I forget where you are in Tennessee, if you're near Nashville and all that mess down there. Uh, hopefully, everyone's okay. Uh, okay, so, all right. So, we have a pretty good crowd here. So, I think we need to open up with a word of prayer. Yeah. You want to do that? Sure. All right, let's pray, everybody. Thank you, Jesus, for this day. I hope next year will be the greatest year. Yes. And I hope that you just let us have a great New Year's Day. And I hope this time, this 30 minutes, will be great. Amen. Yes. Amen and amen. Well, uh, let, let me just remind everyone that we are having a New Year's Eve service tonight on live stream. Uh, it'll be from 7 to 8. And, uh, you know, traditionally we, we have uh, scripture cards. And uh, <laughs> I hear myself over there. <clears throat> we will be uh, giving scripture cards tonight. And I have a little system. I think it'll work. Uh, Pamela will be helping me with that. But uh, tune in, uh, 7 o'clock, just for an hour. Uh, we'll probably have a little bit of worship. I want to share a little word, a closing out of the year word, and then uh, have the scripture cards. And then we'll close out by lighting a candle like we usually do. All right, so anyway. So, first thing. So 2020 has had some difficult times. I would say so. And then this year is 2021. Yes. And it's like 2021. Like 2021, the year. W-O-N. One. Yeah. <laughs> like, like we got through it and we got the victory, right? Yeah. 2021. So now and we're now looking at... <coughs> 2021. Well, excuse me for my cough. That just sounds weird. I just said 2021 and now tomorrow is 2021. Yeah, I can't believe that. What a, what a fast year it was uh, looking back on it. Yeah. So I, I have a scripture we could use. I think this would be a, an appropriate scripture as we get started here today. But Isaiah 43, uh, one of the scriptures that I'm very familiar with, and I, I think about it often. It says, uh, Isaiah 43, 18, uh, Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. You know, sometimes it's good to let go of the things in the past uh, so that they don't hold us back. Um, there are a lot of things in 2020 that we need to let go of and move yeah. forward. But it says, uh, behold, the Lord says, I will do a new thing. I will do a new thing. And now it will spring forth. And this is the, the rhetorical question that the Lord asks us all the time. <clears throat> Shall you not be aware of it? <clears throat> so God is doing a new thing and he wants to do a new thing. And, and the question is, will we be aware of what he's doing? And then he says this, just for application. I'll even make a roadway in the wilderness, because the wilderness is like, like a jungle, but he'll make a roadway through that, and he'll make, he'll make rivers in the desert. So God will make a way, he'll make a way for us to navigate through life, and um, 
But will we will we, we be aware of what he's doing? So, Pa. Yes. At night, I have these little moment dreams. Yeah. Talking to someone about what I do, I did the other day. Like, but I never know what. Like, give me an example of what you mean. Like, you know, I was talking to someone, but I don't know who it was. In your dream? Yeah, and telling them like. We went to the beach yesterday. Oh. But I don't know who it was. Speaking of the beach. And I keep having those little moment dreams. I don't know. but that, Well, it might have been a spiritual dream. But you say the beach. One thing I'm really thankful for, for 2020, remember our beach episode? When we, we literally got out over our heads down to Plum Island. Yeah. Uh, we were at that little... Island yeah. off of Plum Island. So scary. And uh, all of a sudden, boy, Ella and Ava and I were swimming back, and we realized so deep. we were way over our heads. <laughs> but yeah. the Lord helped us, right? The Lord really helped us. And uh, all of a sudden, I, we kept saying, we could do it, we could do it, we could do it. Finally, after it seemed like a long time, but uh, there we were back on the shore, and I basically collapsed at that point. You and Ava went back running to Mommy and Gigi. Yeah. But I was so tired. I know. But I felt like the Lord rescued us. It was like Jesus thought, like, it's not their day to drown. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. I'm so Get thankful. Get a big wave to push us to Yeah, the shore. There, there was like a push from, from somewhere. And but, then uh, we felt sand on our Yeah, I, I kept trying to touch the bottom. And right? They're like, you try to touch the bottom. It's way over here. <laughs> yeah, way. So, like, if you went down, it would be like touching the ground and the, the ceiling. Right, so right, right. And... So, <clears throat> we learned a valuable <laughs> lesson that day to be careful at Plum Island, that's for sure. <clears throat> but God and is faithful. Don't swim off the island. Don't swim off that little island, whatever you do. You have to go direct, you have to go straight that way, not that way. Because we were trying to go across and. Uh, I realized later that the, the sand just dropped really, really quickly over there. Anyway, so I'm thankful for that in 2020. That was a, that was a good yeah. thing that happened. We were rescued by the Lord. Yeah. So you want to talk about the events of the year for a minute, or you have something prepared right there? I think you have something prepared. Yes, I do. Go ahead. So this is a new year to trust the Lord, a mm. new year to find moments every day. Like, you know those, even if you have lazy days, those little moments of having so much fun with your sisters or brothers, yes. your dog. Or your moments. pop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you just enjoy the moment, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And, like, have you ever got a love letter from God? Um, like, seeing... A shadow on the wall shaped as a heart. Oh, you mean like a little sign? Yeah, I have had those. I've <clears> seen <throat> a rock the shape of a heart. Really? Yeah, I've seen that too. Yeah, little things that the Lord does to remind us that He's right there with us. Sometimes we'll see the clouds formation, <laughs> and it looks like a heart or a cross or you know, some, a dove or a bird, and it reminds us that God is there for us. Like when you look at the clouds and lay down, and you see like pictures. So it kind of like going back to the scripture. God, God wants to do something new. Will we not be aware of it? We have to really be aware of uh, what God is doing in our lives, you know. And so, in order to do that, we have to make some decisions um, to really be looking for the Lord. You know, the scripture does say, "Seek, and you will find." You know, seek after the Lord and you will find the Lord. So if you're looking for the Lord, you'll, you'll see Him. So how about New Year's Revelation? Res, res, yeah, well, yeah I, 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 I just told Gigi one the other day, but yeah, go ahead. Like, <laughs> one, clean my room more often. Ah, I bet Mommy and Daddy are really happy about that one. Mm. Mm. Not that I've seen it lately, but I can only imagine. Read more. There's something. You, you like to read, though, don't you? Yes, I do. But more. I like. There was eleven chapters in my book, and I'm almost finished with it. Wow. Then I don't have to start, start a new one. That, that's good. That book's really interesting. Yeah. Um, and 
and preach more. Like, when Thursday talk, maybe I'll start. Well, when did we start doing these Tuesdays and Thursdays like talks? April. In April? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> you know, uh, Ella, I was, I was sharing last night on the Wednesday Bible study <coughs> that um, we started the last night was the 42nd Wednesday night live stream Bible study. 42nd. <coughs> so the Tuesday and Thursday are probably right around the same time. But of course, we do two a week. So that would be like, instead of 42, it would be 84 that we've done. And then Gigi was doing some Tuesdays with me. Hopefully she'll come back and do some of those. But uh, anyway, Ella, you, I, have to, I have to say that this all started when you and the other two pips were being homeschooled, right? And you were, you were here, and uh, we decided to do this. And part of your, your education uh, was to get involved with this and help me out and, and give a word to the church and so forth. And uh, I have to admit, you've been very faithful, and you've been very insightful. I think one of the, one of the things that we, we discovered early on when doing this was that you felt like you kind of discovered your calling. Yeah. Do you still feel that way? Yeah. Which is, what is your calling? To preach and to share the word of God. Yeah, you, and you do a very good job because you, you, you bring out some uh, some application. You 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 apply it to to daily life. Like a lot of times we talked about nature, we talked about turtles and frogs and all that stuff. And mm. <clears throat> but yeah, so one of your New Year's resolutions is to preach more, right? Preach more. Yes. More. Wow. And traditions. We could have. Christmas at your house, like just opening presents. Yeah. But we couldn't have the Christmas Eve service. Right. Which I was really sad about because I wanted to, like, read a scripture. Well, every year we do the scripture readings and we tell the story of Christmas on Christmas Eve. We have communion together at the church. Go there in our PJs. <laughs> you, you do, usually, right? Yeah, because then we come right home and go to sleep. Right, right. Well, this year's Christmas Eve was from our dining room over there, mm -hmm. and it was, a, it was a quieter service, but it was okay. It, we got through it, and tonight, um, <clears throat> usually at, we have a New Year's Eve service at the church where somewhere between 80 and 100 people would show up usually, I think, um, but tonight, not going to happen. We're going to keep the church locked up. We'll be reopening the church on this Sunday at 9 o'clock for mm -hmm. 9 o'clock and 10.45. So, uh, what are we doing with the Christmas play, speaking of traditions? Well, yeah, we're going to have it. So, I'm going to have it, everybody. Don't freak out. Christmas play, January 17th. <clears throat> so, we're going to have a, a post-Christmas play. <clears throat> and we'll have our children involved, some special songs yeah. from adults involved. Yes. And so we'll tell the Christmas story on January 17th. So that'll be interesting. Yeah. It's going to be shorter. Like, yeah, but that's okay. Right. It's all right. All right. I memorized one of my lines. I'm still working on the other one. Well, the other one's really long. Well, you have a couple of weeks to get it right, right? Yeah. And, yeah. So Christmas in January. That should be interesting. I like that idea. <coughs> so, speaking of Christmas, I wanted to ask you a couple of questions. So, you have different aspects of Christmas. You know, you have, you have the angels appearing to certain people. <clears throat> you have uh, John the Baptist, mother and father. You have Joseph and Mary. You have the shepherds and you have the magi. You have Simeon and Anna. I, just, I was just wondering if you have a special character in the Christmas story. Or a special part of the story that you like. I mean, I, always, I have a special part that I like. The shepherds. Tending their flock at night. And the angels came and appeared to them and said, Lo, I do, do not fear. I give you glad tidings. I give you good news of glad tidings. For unto you this day is a, in the city of David is a Savior who is Christ the Lord. I love that part. 
I like when everybody runs into the stables and gets so happy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We like to do that in the play, don't we? Mm -hmm. Remember there's no room in the inn? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's always a good part of the play. So anyway, we have a little devotional here. I wonder if we'll have time to, to do it all. What does this say? The blank page? Yes. As in the new year is blank right now? Yeah, right. Genesis 1, 1, 3. Okay. 1 to 1, 3. A frame picture. Oh. In the beginning, God created the sky and the earth. The earth was empty and had no form. Then God said, let there be light. And there was light. Yeah, God spoke and it happened. All right. Yes. Let's get on with the story part. Okay. Every picture and story starts with a blank page. Nothing is on it, and it's yours to do anything with. That's exactly what happened when God sat down to create Earth, the universe, and everything in it. He started with a blank page. Well, actually, there wasn't even a page. Just darkness and nothing. And God, too, of course. Then he started to create, and it was he... And it was exactly what he wanted. Planets spun into space. Stars stress, stretched across the heavens. And galaxy upon galaxy swirled out in the universe. Mm -hmm. All throughout the universe and here on Earth, God chose his creative, creativity to be indescribably, indescribably, Incredibly, incredibly amazing. amazing. Get amazed. Amazing. <coughs> Who else could think of these spotted long neck giraffes? Mm -hmm. Who else could put uh, the roar in a lion's mouth mm -hmm. and a purr in the kitty's tummy? Who else could think of think of stick bugs, frogs, <laughs> leafy sea dragons? Platypuses <laughs> are colored mantis shrimp. Mm -hmm. Seriously, you need to check these guys out. They're unbelievable. Yeah, you know what I like? Uh, speaking of that creative nature of God, you know, when you have a fish tank, okay. we have little fish in there. Mm -hmm. But if you have a salt water fish tank, the colors of those fish is really bright. It, like they're red and they're green and they're blue. It's, it's amazing that God created them. It's like, it's like this book here. All these different colors on here. That's what the fish look like. Anyway, I just thought I'd throw that in. Okay. God is infinity creative. Mm -hmm. That means his creativity has no end. Right. And God shows his creativity in you. You began at the blank page in his book. And he began writing your story before you were even born. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a great one. Don't believe it. Just check out some of the amazing stories he's already written for ordinary people, just like you. David mm -hmm. knocking out Goliath, Daniel napping with the lions, and Esther saving her people. God's got an amazing story in the works for you. Just, just wait and see. And I love that. So we're starting a brand new year. And uh, let's just think back on, on 2020 for just a second. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think one of, the, one of the big things in 2020 was how everyone's been dealing with this COVID-19 situation. I know your family had it. I had it. I have a lingering cough, but I'm okay. <coughs> uh, um, but so many people in our country all across the world have it. And the whole, because of that, the whole world is functioning differently right now. Church is different. Um, the way we, we uh, communicate is different. A lot of live streams, a lot of Zoom meetings and so forth. So COVID was really something. And, and we're going to start this new year with the COVID still lingering. So we have to deal with it. Uh, we, we dealt with uh, a lot of protesting and violence in the streets of America over the, uh, some police uh, shootings and some racial um, 
racial issues that happened. Yeah. And that dominated the news for a long time. We had a big march in Haverhill uh, with about a thousand people regarding that issue. Uh, we had the election. Uh, in November, and, and the repercussions of that election are still reverberating in our country. And I guess uh, January 6th will be, uh, I think, the finalization of, of the Electoral College and all that's involved. Uh, then we had some personal things happen. We had an episode with, we had two episodes with Molly. Well, I don't know how it happened, but Ella ended up going to the doctor because Molly got... Uh, little frisky and snipped her hand and um but everything was okay it wasn't that bad it wasn't that bad but it did require some medical attention only 14 stitches <laughs> and then then molly had this other issue later on when someone mm -hmm. threw a stick up in the air and molly loves to chase molly's the dog by the way yeah um <clears throat> molly loves to get collect sticks and someone threw it and she jumped up to catch it. And it went all the way down her throat. <laughs> that went right in, under that her went tongue. Directly in. Under her tongue. Oh, and it cut and her. And mommy had to pull oh, terrible. the stick out. And then she got a lot of stitches. Well, she, yeah, she got like a real lot, 30 or something? Oh, no. It yeah. went from her mouth all the way down to her leg. Oh, man. Stitches. And then, yeah. <laughs> and then she got spoiled that time, and now she tries to eat all our food. <laughs> yeah. But so in the midst of all the big stuff, there was this little stuff that was going on, too. Mm -hmm. But uh, we survived, right? Yeah. We survived, and we're thankful. <laughs> and Boy, it was weird, because Molly did something bad. Yeah. And something bad happened to Molly. <laughs> well... Maybe the Lord was trying to discipline old Molly. Molly's been pretty good since then, hasn't she? Yeah, but this morning something really weird happened. So I was washing Molly's paws because it was raining outside. She just walked in and she didn't bring paws. So I was washing it and then Daddy walked down and she started growling and barking at him like he was a stranger. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's unusual. Yeah. Was your daddy wearing a hat or something? And maybe. She no. didn't recognize him? No. He wow. was just wearing his normal outfit. Wow. Everything was normal. The light was on so she could see him. I don't know why that would happen. She just freaked out. Yeah. Like he was a stranger. Yeah. But then she's like, oh, it's daddy. Well, that's good. Well, Finally, she recognized him. It's good to know that she'll do that if there's a stranger. <laughs> so, so there's a blank slate in 2021. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what the Lord has in store for us. I mean, we're coming into it with, with the COVID issue, with the live streams, we're doing that. But personally, we don't know what's going to happen. We're just praying for good health for everyone, for strength, for spiritual strength and insights. Uh, so, but I think the, the point Ella made earlier was that God has a plan for every one of us. And we've got to step into that plan and let the Lord write our life story. I wonder what, uh, what you would write uh, regarding your life story, those of you that are on here today, uh, 13 people, <clears throat> what what would you remember about 2020 in your life? Uh, how God worked in you or through you and how, or how you worked through some situations that may have been difficult? Um, I know how 2020 made my life so good. How? There were some bad things, but overall, 2020 showed me what my future would be. I like that. Yeah. And your future is going to include proclaiming the gospel. Preaching to people. Yeah. Maybe preaching to people all around the world. Maybe the Lord will call you to a foreign country. Maybe. And maybe the Lord will also call you to use other skills that you may have to proclaim the gospel. Like mm -hmm. singing or dancing or banner ministry. Banner ministry. You know, there's different ways to communicate. So uh, what else do you have here? Well, BME. <laughs> that scared me a little bit. <laughs> okay, BME. Okay. Sloths are so slow that they move. Whoa, 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 whoa! What are sloths? What are sloths? Sloths are these very so slow animals that just stay. In Is that a sloth? 
It looks a little like a monkey. Yeah. But it's always in the tree. That's the sloth. I still thought a sloth was a, like a worm. Okay, forget that. A sloth, <laughs> sloth? <laughs> it, is somewhat of a monkey of sorts, I guess. Maybe okay, so a let's... long, long lost cousin of a monkey? <laughs> Sloths are so slow that they can only... That they only move... That they move only about six and a half per feet per minute. Whoa, whoa. So I'm about six feet, right? From my head to my feet, I'm about six feet. So a sloth only goes from here to there in a minute? Man, that is slow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess he's taking time to smell the roses, so to speak. <laughs> Even their tummies are slow. Oh. Taking an average, average uh, of 16 days to digest the twigs, fruits, leaves, bugs, lizards, and other birds. Lizards? They eat. Well, yeah. they eat birds? Yeah. Wow. And they spend almost their entire life Hanging upside down in the trees, <laughs> coming down only once a week or so to poop. Oh, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> My goodness. I am amazed at this story. Mm -hmm. So they hang upside down for a week. Oh, my goodness. I wonder when they go hunting for their food and stuff. In a week? I may have to look up the, the, the sloths. They on... probably only, when they come down, look for lizards under the rocks and stuff. And then they just live in the tree so they like, eat the twigs wow. and I wonder where they live. It doesn't say where they live, but does it? In the tree? In the jungle. They must live in the jungles of South America, maybe? Or, or... in the zoo. In the zoo, yeah. Hey, by the way, your cousins went to the Bronx Zoo yesterday, I heard. They did? Yeah. Uh, Hannah and Ben and Mason went to the Bronx Zoo to look at the animals, make sure they're okay in the wintertime. All right, listen, look at what time it is. Let me read this scripture again, and uh, let me remind you, we'll be meeting tonight from 7 to 8. Uh, for our New Year's Eve live stream, uh, we will be doing the scripture cards. So uh, if you want your, your scripture for the new year, <clears throat> make sure you tune in and we'll make sure that you get it. But anyway, Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19. This is in regards to the end of 2020 and the beginning of 2021. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. I, I think we, we could probably say, Let's not let the things of our past hold us back. Uh, and let us not get stuck in, in the old way. Uh, sometimes we, we remember things and we, we are wiser because of the things we've been through. But don't be hindered. Don't get stuck in the past. The Lord says, I will do a new thing and now it will spring forth. Now it will happen. Will you not know it or will you not be aware of it? I always was so amazed at that. Speaking of amazed, I was amazed that the Lord said that that he does new things, and sometimes we could miss it because we're not paying attention to what he's doing. But he says, I'll, I'll make a roadway in the wilderness, and I'll make rivers in the desert. In other words, the Lord will make a way for us to make it in victory if we could just you know, hang on and, and see his hand of provision upon our lives. Let me take a minute and see what people are writing here. Lynn Harrison says, the lizards and birds are in the trees. That's where the, uh, the sloths hang out, I guess, most of the time. Must be southern, James Carter says. Uh, Heidi, Heidi's favorite animal? Yeah. Wow. I didn't know they were that popular. <laughs> uh, Roseanne said, I've learned that uh, what's important in life uh, and that I need to make changes and be able to focus more on these things. All right, very good. Uh, sloths work at the DMV. <laughs> well, that means that the DMV is the department of is where you go for your car stuff. And sometimes it's really a slow, painful process because everyone works slow there. There's a lot of red tape. Uh, okay, I found Lynn Harris. I found Tuesday and Thursday talk in 2020. Well, that's great. Uh, sloths are my favorite animal, James Carter says. 2020 was the year that the Lord took my anxieties. Uh, uh, relating to my lack of control over things like my job and income and health. Yeah, yeah, James, we were like in a situation where we had no control. We had to really depend on God. Mommy says, oh, my girl. Uh, Joyce, hey, Joyce, 
a stronger faith uh, through sickness. Yep, that happens. Jesus said, oh, Ella. Uh, James says, some blank slate a new believer is given when they receive salvation. The past doesn't control our future. Amen. Amen. Well, Pastor Bill says he loves Molly. Molly, Molly knows Pastor Bill pretty well, doesn't he? Yeah. She, I mean. Okay, let's see. Blessings, Joyce. Robert, um, I don't know, but I see a future of Ella giving a sermon one day in church. Probably. Ooh, I think that would be a very real possibility. Gigi talked about humbleness. Uh, Mary, let's see, James Carter says, I know, I love how Mary rode a donkey into Bethlehem just before Jesus' birth, and how Jesus rode a donkey into Jerusalem. Just before his Yeah, very interesting uh, observation there. Mm -hmm. uh, the symbol is up, okay, yep. She means the shepherds from the Chosen series. Oh, you watched the Chosen series is a very good uh, series, by the way, about the life of Jesus. Um, you can get it. You can buy the DVD, I think. Yeah, and there's this bonus Christmas bonus thing where they show what happened to the shepherds. I just saw that the other day. Really cool. It's good. Hey, Jenny Poolin is on. God bless you, Jenny. Uh, all right. Who did? Oh, uh, hey, Jennifer, my dear niece. Happy anniversary to you and John yesterday. Ten years, is it, Jen? My goodness, that was a quick ten years. Doreen, God bless you. Good to see you on here today. All right, well, listen, uh, Ella, we got to wrap it up and pray. But thank you all for joining us. Hopefully we'll see you tonight uh, from 7 to 8 for our New Year's Eve. And then we'll see you again on Sunday, uh, 9 o'clock, 1045. Uh, in-house services. We only have 38 people at each service. So if you want to come, just make sure you come early enough to make sure you can get in. Uh, we will be keeping track. Uh, unfortunately, we have to do that. Um, but the 1045 will be live streamed as usual. So you want to pray and then I'll pray? Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Let's pray. Lord, Lord, the whole universe shows your creativity. Yes. I trust that you're creating a wonderful story for me. Yes. Yes, Lord. Father, we want to thank you for 2020. Thank you, Lord, that you, you held our hand through the whole thing. You guided us, you provided for us, uh, and you still provide for us. Thank you, Lord, for, for church life continuing through live stream, through Zoom meetings, through in-house meetings. Thank you, Lord, that you are faithful. And Lord, thank you that you're here to help us navigate the sicknesses, the social unrest, the presidential election, the political climate, as well as personal issues that we deal with, like situations with Molly or situations at the beach that we had or whatever we're going through. Thank you for always being there. So we thank you for 2020. But now, Lord, as 2020 is coming to a close, we pray your rich blessing upon 2021. Lord God, let it be a great year for your church. Let it be a great year for New Life Christian Assembly. And uh, Lord, if, if anyone is sick, let us be healed. Let us be well. If anyone is troubled or confused, we pray for clarity. And if anyone needs direction, we trust, Lord, that you will give us the direction that we need. So thank you, Lord, for this time. I pray your blessing over Ella and your blessing, Lord, over everyone that's on here today. Thank you for it. In Jesus' precious holy name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Well, thank you for joining us today. Uh, Happy New Year to you. Uh, hopefully we'll see you tonight, and uh, hopefully we'll see you on Sunday as well. All right, God bless you. Talk to you soon. Bye.